Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another little video where I'm going to look at me some drawings from the Draw Day Challenge and this one is going to be looking at the month of August 2020 which was days 300 to 331 so we're into the final, what's it, the final 30 odd days now 365 day challenge, we're into the final month in a little bit so this one's going to be looking at Bobby the, Bobby the dog, I was going to say Bobby the knob <laughs> Bobby the knob, no, Bobby the doggy is with us for this one and he's going to sit, look at the size of his head he's got such a big head and it's really like squishy <laughs> but he's going to sit there and behave himself hopefully and what I do on these videos is I go through my little sketchbook looking at my drawings and then I'll go through the sketch, the sketchy sketchbook and just talk about things some of the things I'm going to talk about is dropping details base colour, playing with colours, over exaggerating is fun and how I can't wait to have more time to focus on one character because these drawings, because it's a 365 day drawing challenge I've only, I only give myself about 30 minutes to an hour to do these little drawings because I don't want to be overwhelmed but I can't wait till it's over just so that I can focus on one character like over say a week or two and try to do them a lot better but this one rough I almost forgot something Bobby just reminded me but little Bobby was actually brought it was a gift for me from the artist Rebecca Barrett and Rebecca Barrett is the artist who started this little art challenge you can find her at Instagram at rebecca.barrett but she's she hasn't been doing the challenge for the last couple months because she had to focus on her art gallery stuff <laughs> I like it when little Bobby's talking it looks quite cool actually it does look like he's it looks like I'm talking look at his little eyes I love his little eyes but these are a couple of little Rebecca's drawings from the month of August because what she's doing is she's been posting some of her art from her sketchbooks and stuff so I love this one little bird beautiful that one and this is a fun one as well a couple of little characters she's got a little mouse I love these you can find Rebecca at, on Instagram at rebecca.barrett and I'll put a link in the description and stuff let's get back to the little sketchbooks Rough. But this one, this was the last, the 31st of July was the final owl because July was all about Ollie the owl and I, well, what I do is I always introduce the new character when the, on the final one so this is little Sam the squirrel that was the first time he came on <laughs> he's, he's, he's a little bit naughty he was but the first one, the 1st of August, day 301 I simply called it the squirrel and his little squirrel just hugging hugging a heart I like the shape of this it's, that's one of the things I love about this squirrel was how you had lots of fun shapes to play with you had like you had the big bit of his belly or his body but you had little claws on his little claws on his hands and feet nice ears his ears were fun but his tail as well being fuzzy and big it was just he was a very playful character I think he's probably been my favourite character I think the squirrel this was the 2nd of August the tail squirrel so I just thought I had an idea of wrapping a tail around the little squirrel but one of the things I did this month this was the 3rd of August the basket nut squirrel he, he's playing basket nut Little, that's what squirrels get up to when we're not watching <laughs> but one of the things I started doing was I did an article and they were talking about playing with colours and one of the things they said was the base colour 
think about the base colour because the base colour shines through. So what I started doing somewhere in the middle of this, I started really playing with the colours and I started putting red. I started putting a red base colour. So when I put the brown on top, the red was still showing. I've never really done that before, but I loved it because by the end, you've got all these different colours. It just gets a lot more exciting. This was the 4th of August, the sexy squirrel. Little squirrel with little panties on. Because Sam the squirrel could actually be a male or a female. So, might actually be like a transgender squirrel. <laughs> it's quite funny. The big headed. Hey, look! Little Bobby's friend, the big headed squirrel. The 5th of August. This, I, was, I was really trying my best this month to sort of push the shapes to make them more over exaggerated I suppose so I did it a lot with the tail I did it with the head as well and the teeth also played around with the teeth shapes but I, those teeth I feel like those teeth add a lot of character to the character so again it's like what they say the little things are very important because those little teeth the nutty squirrel, this was the 6th of August, got two little squirrels, one's in the tree getting all the nuts down <laughs> and his friends, he's collecting all the nuts. I thought that was quite, I like that one, it's quite cool. This was the colourful squirrel, the 7th of August. This is one of those that looks a lot better in my head. I couldn't quite pull it off really. But I like, I, fit, I like the idea of this one. That's cool. The fishing squirrel. I love the, I love the way squirrels are like round. It's quite cool. Yes, yeah, so you've got the smoothness and then you've got the fuzziness. It's quite cool. I kept not really being sure what colour to make the ears and the belly. So I, keep, I keep changing that all the time. This was the 9th of August, the inking squirrel. For some reason I just thought oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. So I just got my inks out and did that. It's quite cool. 10th of August, the sweet smelling squirrel. <laughs> I like this one. Little squirrel spraying himself. See you can see little bits of red and stuff in I really loved playing with the colours this month. It was so fun. I've normally been a bit scared to do it really. But it was fun. Oh, this was on the 11th of August. Me and my sister, we went to the cinema to watch The Matrix in 4DX. That's where all the seats move and stuff. And I thought, oh, I'm going to draw The Matrix squirrel. <laughs> so he's, he's like dodging nuts. <laughs> I think that's cool. I like that one. That's one of the ones I'll do again, and, and like I said, if I could focus on that one a lot more, I think he'd be, he's got glasses on, but you can't really tell. Can't, that was another thing, the, the eyes, I never really knew what to do with the eyes. I think I should have looked at reference a bit more. This is one of my favourite ones, 12th of August, the auditioning squirrel, I was really conscious of the lighting on this one trying to make it look like the squirrel was lit up but I wanted him to be a little bit scared like he's going for an audition but he's a bit he's a bit shy I like I quite like that one that might be my favorite one maybe and there's no red in that one because I thought the lighting would it would change the color of him so I, I focus more on like yellows this was the biker squirrel, 13th of August. He's zooming along. I don't remember where that idea... A lot of these ideas I come up with... Because what happens is I, I wake up at night time, at about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'll just start drawing. So a lot of these ideas, I don't know where they come from, really. The 14th of August, the swinging squirrel. He's trying to get that nut. <laughs> He's going to swing over to it. I think I should have made the tree, the branch, I should have 
I should have made the branch be sort of bending or something. I quite like that one though. This was the Astro Nut Squirrel, the 15th of August. Little squirrel going out into space. That was actually supposed to be the NASA logo, but Nutter instead of NASA. But I didn't really, I didn't really pull that off very well, I don't think. And what, it started out like that, but I thought that doesn't really look like a squirrel. So that's why I thought oh, if I put the tail on, it will make him look like a squirrel. So I think in the sketch he didn't have a, a tail. This is the golfing squirrel for the 16th of August. Got a little golf ball about to hit him. Look, look his tail is all like, he's, like, like he's, his hair's on edge. His hairs are standing up. He's a bit scared. The square squirrel, 17th of August. I like him as well. I think he's got a cool shape. There was something I messed up here. What was it? I think it was that bit, the ear. I didn't want, I didn't want that line on it. I like the way that foot has got no line on it. It makes it feel connected. And that line there feels like it's really the depth. I like the depth for that bit there because that line is thicker. I quite like that one. This I think this is my favourite actually. It's really peaceful. The 18th of August, the little sleeping, the sleeping squirrel, <laughs> the sleeping squirrel. He looks so. Peaceful. I like that. I like the idea that little animals could have little beds. Imagine that animals. If an, imagine if animals had little beds with quilt covers and stuff. <laughs> I would love that. The nineteenth of August, the hiding squirrel. I wanted him to be hiding more, but I couldn't really, couldn't really do it. I was, I was going to have him on the thing. I should have really, because he would have blended in a bit more. It's quite a fun one though. Oh, I love this one. Actually, I think this is my favourite one. It's the Little Dennis squirrel. So what I did was, I don't know if I've got Little Dennis here. Yeah, yeah there's Little Dennis, look. What I did was I merged Little Dennis with the squirrel character. Which again, it's something they said in one of the articles. Try to merge character or creatures. So I had to think, what am I going to pull out of Dennis? So I pulled out little Dennis's ears and his little eyes. Yeah. So I feel like that one's the the best one I've done of combining two characters because it sort of feels like both of them. It does feel a bit like Little Dennis, even though it's it's a squirrel. I think that's my favourite one, that. It looks quite funny as well. Oh, I like that one as well. 21st of August, the sailing squirrel. Little s squirrel sailing off into the sunset. Or is it the sunrise? I think it's the sunset. All on his own. But he's very, he's very content on his own. Maybe he's going off to find some friends. He, little friends. 22nd of August, a cleaning squirrel. I wanted him to look like he was pushing that, that room. I tried to do it. I do like that one. I think if you crop it there, it looks, it looks good. Because it looks like there's loads of, loads of stuff. And that was the end of that one. Then I moved into this one. I love this with the red cover. I think it looks a lot. It looks cool with the red. I think this was the twenty third of August. It's the little squirrel. So you got like a big squirrel and a little one. I wish I had made their little hands touching. That's the one thing I wish I'd done. Because then if they would have been touching, and it would have been like they're they're about to sort of touch each other's noses. I, I like that one. 
they look quite happy. This was the posing squirrel, 24th of August. There's a little bit of little Sophie in that, I think. The sort of sexy, sexiness. Again, I think I messed up her eyes. Oh, 25th of August, the windy squirrel. What happened here was, it was so windy that day. It was so windy. So when I got in, I thought, oh, I'm going to draw the, I'm going to make it a windy one. But his tail's actually been blown off. <laughs> That's a little bit of, I like that one. I feel like that you can sort of feel the, feel the energy of that. I do like that one. That was, I feel like that was the windiest day I can remember. No, it wasn't. There was a day in, I think it was 2016, 2017. Maybe 2018, but Plymouth got hit with this wind. The trees were falling over and everything. It was like a proper little hurricane thing. That was a very windy one, that. 26th of August, the eating squirrel. What happened here was I went into the park on the way home from work and I was, fe I was feeding the squirrels biscuits. And I thought, oh, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a little squirrel eating biscuits on this one. So that, that, and this one, I like the shape of him on that. Because that's, what was happening was, while he was eating the biscuit, I was actually looking at him and studying his shape. And I realised that the tail does that a lot. And he, that's, he looked more like that when he was eating. Instead of like what I normally draw them. Quite, I like that one. Oh, I like this one. 27th of August, the puppet squirrel, little squirrel as a puppet, it's quite, it's quite fuzzy, yeah I like, I like his teeth as well, this was the rolling squirrel, 28th of August, he's just rolling about, I feel like I should have had his tail under, underneath, I, I don't like the white space here, I wish I had made the tail overlapping. I would have kept the space there, but got rid of that. The big teeth squirrel, 29th of August. This was I was over exaggerating his teeth. I think he's quite. See, like the red. You can sort of see the red coming through. Look at all the different colours in that, I love it. It's really cool. Because all the colours sort of merge together. I love that. I do, I quite like this one. Yeah, he might be my favourite. got This one was yesterday, the 30th of August. The girl squirrel. Her little outfit is actually inspired by Chie. One of my favourite video game characters, Chie from Persona 4. She wears a little green and yellow outfit. She's sort of like that. I like her hair as well. I like, again, I like all the colours in the hair. It's so fun playing with colours. I, I never realised how fun it was to just throw a load of colours together. And this was today's, I just finished this one, it's the final squirrel, 31st of August. I was going to have the squirrel actually, I was going to have the squirrel be dead with a little mouse there. Because next month is all about Monty the mouse. I was going to have him eating the squirrel, but I thought no. <laughs> I, I like the idea of that, but I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him be scared of the little mice. So in my head, what's happened is he's so scared of the little mouse that he actually dies. So that's the final squirrel. And what I'm going to do for the little mouse, I'm going to start trying to do what some of my favourite artists do, like Dean Yeagle. What they do is they, they colour the lines in the same colour as the inside. So like the nose, which is pink. The lines will be pink, and if it's 
if the mouse is grey, the lines will be grey. So I'm going to try and make all my lines be like that. Because I just think that looks so much... There's a sort of cuteness about it when the lines are coloured. It, it just looks... I like that. What's my favourite? I think my favourite one is either this one. The big teeth squirrel. Or the little Dennis squirrel. <laughs> Quite funny those. But this was in the sketchbook. So what has happened in here? Let's have a look at it. That was the final one. Got the little squirrel. The tail the tail squirrel. I was just thinking, trying to work out how to wrap it around. I was trying to work out how to wrap him around, but still have his hands showing. This was the basket nut squirrel. At first I was going to have him like that, but I thought if he's like that, it looks more like he's slamming the nut. And I, I was very conscious of the space between the tail and the squirrel. So I was, I'm very conscious of spaces between things. Sexy squirrel. The monkey squirrel. I never did that one. It was going to be a monkey, a squirrel, like a monkey. But that actually turned into the swinging squirrel. Oh, so that's how I came about the idea. I was going to have a monkey and I, I thought, no. So what I did instead was I turned him into this. Look at this one here, look. He, that was his tail. It was, he was going to be covered up by the tail. I don't, a lot of these don't become real. They just... Oh, I like that bit. I like that. It's cool. <laughs> the colourful squirrel. The fishing squirrel. The inking squirrel. See, I wanted him to be looking like he's really struggling to push the pen. I think maybe that one's better. That pose. That, right, that's the, um... That's this pen here. It's the best pen ever. This pocket brush pen. Pentel pocket brush pen it is. It's just got the sexiest lines. Look at, look at, what's this look? Look at that. How sexy is that, like, texture? It's so random. It's random, but it's also sort of predictable. In a weird way. I love the way that this I love this pen. I think the pen itself is looks sexy as well. The orange and black. I like that. The thunder squirrel. Yeah, because we had thunderstorms as well. We had really bad thunderstorms. So I was gonna I was gonna make the squirrel be a thunderbolt. <laughs> like Amy Thunderbolt. There's a cosplayer called Amy Thunderbolt. But when I put the thunderbolt, I, I thought I can't, I don't really know how to do that. The sweet smelling squirrel, the matrix squirrel, because he, he was going to be wearing one of those black outfits that they wear. Don't go with first idea. Ah, it wasn't a monkey nut then. This is a different one. Don't go with the first idea. I was trying to remind myself not to go with the first idea. So that's what it started out like. Yeah, and then it was going to be like that. And I thought, well, there's no there's no real need for him to be swinging like that. So that's why what I did was I put the nut on a different tree. Because then at least it, it made sense that he'd be swinging. This is the Matrix one. I like, I like this one. <laughs> Little Matrix squirrel. Biker squirrel. Yeah, this is the NASA logo. But when I put it into the finished thing, the te I think the text is so small that it didn't it didn't work very well. Don't go with the first idea. The square squirrel. You see, I, that, I removed that line. I think it looked a lot better. The sleepwalking squirrel. <laughs> He's going to be walking off the thing, look. And then I put him in the bed and I thought, oh, I love that bed. 
It looks so peaceful in there. The hiding squirrel. The little Dennis squirrel. Oh, look at this one, look. That was the little squirrel. The baby squirrel. Look. That was... That was I like that one. I like this one as well. They look like they're playing. I went with that one though. Yeah, kept. Oh, they were touching hands there, look. <laughs> look at the shape of that, look. That's quite cool. The posing squirrel. The windy squirrel. I was trying to work out how to make it look like his tail's blown off. What's this one here? Oh, the puppet squirrel. This is a little, the little girl squirrel. No, I like that one. This was me creating little Monty. That cheese gives him confidence and courage. That's little Monty. And then this was today's. So it was going to be resting in peace. But then I went with this one. <laughs> that sketch definitely looks a lot better, I think. That happens a lot with, I've noticed that. The sketches are more, more fun. That's basically it for that. So all we've, what is it now? We're into September. So tomorrow is September the 1st. And we're going to be looking at Monty. Little Monty the mouse. And then I think I've only got, what have I got? 35 days left. 35 days left. Da, da, da. It's quite exciting that. 35 days. I think that deserves a slap. 